I'm gonna be sniffing because of my allergies. That's alright, me too. The transmission is a Hearth 50, no longer made. They, the Hearth has been bought by ZF. They have replacements, just a different model. Different ZF? Model. ZF had bought Hearth. ZF's a good gear manufacturer. Hearth was a good gear. Hearth went in cooperation with all the Yanmars. You've got Hearth and Kanzaki, who is Yanmar's gear maker. They cooperated on gears. Got, you should look at the numbers. So did Kanzaki and Borg Warner. They all, you know. Well, that's good to know. Okay. And it is a <coughs> right hand prop rotation. So your prop is right hand, if you didn't make note of that. Okay. Okay. Right hand prop rotation. Right. I'm reading that right off the gear. Now we'll look at it. We'll activate it when we, okay. when we start it up. Because i got to start the engine up and warm it up before we change the oil. Just want to take a look here. Let me see. You have a PSS dripless seal. Yes. And it's new. Newer looking. I don't know when it was installed. That's a good device. I heard. Uh, you got an inch and an eighth prop shaft or one inch. I don't know tell which one it is. Which is good for this boat. More than adequate. And you see that black stripe right here across from either side of that seal? Yeah. The hole right yeah. there. That's from where this seated. The see the piece where the hose goes in. Yeah. Okay. That is a piece of carbon. It's brittle. You don't want to ever pry on it or strike it with anything because it's hard like ceramic. Okay. So which piece? A piece sticking up? Like the the black part. The black part. Okay. Where that hose goes into. See, okay. there's about an inch. Yeah. Of black there. That's the carbon piece on the PSS with seal. This outer piece is they call it a rotor it's lay name is a, is a, a donut okay now it's got two o-rings inside of that silver piece that rotor so they call it a stuffing box or well this is in lieu of the stuffing box okay. stuffing box was the old right conventional box this is enough these are nice i've had these on three boats i've recently took one off of my boat because i had some issues not related to the performance of it for clearance now the back of that, you see there's two clamps right here. See the little hose coming in, look behind it, there's two clamps. Okay. Okay. You can open that, go open that front. Yeah, let me. I don't know if you can see from in there or not. Tim, excuse me. Okay. okay. If you look there, see the, reach your hand down there and grab this. Now, if you will, this one? Okay, those those two clamps clamp that rubber bellows. See the corrugated looking? Yeah, this part. Piece. Huh? Yes. This part. Now that's got a seven, eight year life, service life according to the manufacturer. They go longer, but that's when they want them replaced. Okay, seven, seven to eight years. Okay. What you do is, this thing is really neat how they work. The silver rotor mates right up to that black To this piece. one. Okay, now do this. Take that hose and don't, well, not with a lot of force, push push back on that back piece towards the back of the boat. Or push sideways. Oops. Okay, see that? That's yeah. seawater. Yeah. That's all that thing does is just rides right there. The okay. old style used to didn't have that tube in it. And you'd have to burp it every time you haul the boat because you would get air up in there. Okay. And it needs to stay wet. Okay. Okay, this is one's relatively new. You see that black stripe right there? Yeah, th down here? Yeah, that's from when they do that when they first install new until they seat and those two surfaces polish each other. And yeah. it's amazing. They just don't leak. You know how you take two pieces of glass and they stick together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, same, same principle. Now, okay. to adjust that, you see there's two set screws in that silver rotor right there. Yeah. Okay, grub screws or set screws. Uh -huh. There's not just two you see. There's two in each hole, okay? Okay. The outer one holds the first one secure. It locks the first one in. Oh, I see. Okay. A lot of people will try to move that, and they'll just loosen that top screw, and you haven't done anything. It just locks the bottom screw in. They're identical screws, okay? Okay. And the way you adjust this, if things have, as this ages, the pressure in that corrugated bellows they call it, the yeah. rubber piece, pushes that black piece forward against the silver rotor. Oh, I see. And there's tension there. 
and you have to have some tension. Yeah, to keep now, it from dripping. Right. Now, as the as the bellows weakens over time and it's not putting tension in there, sometimes you need to put a little more tension on them. Yeah. What you do is you have to take the two set screws out, mm -hmm. and you take the second set of set screws out. That rubber piece, that silk stainless piece, will slide up and down on the shaft. Oh, I got it. You push it back towards the back of the boat to add tension. Right. And then snug it back down with I the see. set screws. Okay. Now you can do that at, as it ends, starts getting near near its life end, if it's getting where it's not sealing. Okay. Properly. Okay. They usually go. They're pretty well maintenance free. But what you do not want to do is get any oil. You don't lubricate any of this with oil. If you're going to work on this or move it or adjust it, use soap, the liquid disc detergent. Okay. Inside of that silver rotor, there's two grooves that run around where the shaft goes through, and there's two O-rings in there. That seals the rotor to the shaft. Okay. And they're tight fit. Okay. Yeah. And that keeps the seawater from coming in between the rotor and the shaft. Yeah. Okay. Then that's the polished surface of that silver rotor to the carbon piece where the hose goes in is what keeps the seawater out yeah. and allows it to rotate. The silver rotor spins with the shaft, with the engine. The other piece is static. That's a brilliant design. It's simple. And, you know, some people say, oh, they're going to fail on you, but they don't. They're pretty, pretty damn good. I took it off.